Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Lawrence Wong will deliver the 2024 budget statement on the 16th of February next year. It will be broadcast live on television along with radio coverage. The Singapore Budget website will also live stream the speech. Singaporeans are invited to share suggestions for the budget on this site or on Reach Singapore social media pages. The Finance Ministry will also reach out to the public in the heartlands. Both digital and physical engagements will run until the 26th of January next year. More support to counter rising costs, upskilling workers and funding to keep up with emerging technology. These requests are high on the wish list of businesses and workers for the upcoming budget. With an impending hike to the goods and services tax, higher water prices and transport fees kicking in next year, inflation is set to remain elevated across the board. It's why some are calling for broad-based measures in the upcoming budget to deal with cost pressures. I hope there will be a continued uh, heavy dosage of support measures to help Singaporeans' household cope with the high cost of living, uh, and in particular to broaden the assistance uh, so that more middle households, uh, families can uh, risk it, can uh, have their assistance uh, to cope with the uh, rising costs. As for workers, falling job vacancies and more retrenchments, according to latest third quarter figures, show signs that labour demand is cooling. To help more people become employable, the labour union is asking for increased support in reskilling and retraining efforts. First, stronger support for workers who are unemployed or retrenched to take on new skills and jobs and to be able to tide over the difficult unemployment period. Uh, second, strengthen our skills future and continuing education and training support for workers to upskill and pick up new and emerging skills in demand. That's a sentiment echoed by small and medium companies. Faced with emerging tech like artificial intelligence that could disrupt their operations, they're looking towards grants to help them keep up with current trends. Many businesses um, have slowed down the adoption of uh, digitalization because some of the support grant has come down a bit. Right? And I think the thinking is that you know, uh, the support grant has been there for a while and many businesses would already have adopted. But uh, we see AI being a new disruptor coming in. And we're hoping to see if there can be uh, a greater support for AI uh, projects, right, up to 70% or even more, right, for, for that. Mr. Ang says such support needs to be supplemented with measures to tackle cybersecurity risks. He suggests a nationwide central database that could help companies to learn best practices in tackling cybercrime.